Hi, this is Mike from BandLab. BandLab's effects presets are a quick and easy way to process your sounds with ready-made effect chains, making it easy to get your most polished productions yet. In this video, we'll show you how to process vocals, beats, bass, and guitars with effects presets. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. Before we use any effects presets, we need some tracks to add them to. I know that I'd like there to be a vocal in the mix, so I start by opening BandLab Sounds, selecting the Loops tab, and setting the Instrument Filter to Voice. I drag Shafi Vocal O Waves B Minor 100 into the project. As this is the first musical loop we're adding to the project, BandLab will ask if you want to adjust the project key to that of the sample. I do, so I select Set. Since this is the first loop we're adding, BandLab automatically sets the project tempo to that of the sample, 100 beats per minute in this case. I set the vocal track to minus 10.5 dB to give us headroom to add other elements to the mix. Next I'd like to complement the vocal with some additional sounds from the same pack. I click the menu button next to Shafi Vocal O Waves B Minor 100 and select View Pack. I'd like to add a guitar part next, so I set the instrument filter to guitar and drag Shafi Guitar F Sharp Minor Haze 80 into the project. I make a duplicate of this clip so that it plays for four bars. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, Hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I set this track to minus 14 dB to balance it with the vocal. Now let's add a beat. I set the instrument filter to Beats and drag Shafi Drums 80s Smoke 120 into the project. I set this track to minus 4.5 dB. I'd also like to add a bass line, and I'm going to compose this myself rather than use a sample. I create a new virtual instrument track and set the instrument to electric basses 62p bass. I turn this track down to minus 7.5 dB. I compose a bass line on eighth notes that plays B, A, G, D. I duplicate this out to make a four bar bass line, and for the final two notes, I transpose them up to B to give us a little variation the second time around. This mix is nice and clean, but it's a little dry sounding and can use some processing to help make it pop. Let's try some effects presets to help out with that. First, I'd like to bring out the vocal's highs and give it a more atmospheric reverb. On the vocal track, I bring up the effects panel and click the effects preset button. This brings up the effects presets menu, which has a list of categories on the left and the presets themselves on the right. The first category is recommended and this includes a selection of presets based on the type of track or instrument you're using. The second category is vocals, which naturally features presets specifically designed to work well on vocal tracks. I select this and click the 70s ballad preset to hear how it sounds. This sounds cool, but let's check out some of the other presets. I can cycle through available presets using the arrow buttons. To go directly to a specific preset, you can scroll this preset list in the menu. I select Sky Sound. This is just the kind of effect I'm looking for. It brings out the vocal's highs and helps it pop in the mix, and also gives it depth with a touch of reverb.
Next, let's focus on the guitar track. Again, I'd like to add a touch of reverb to get an ethereal vibe. This time I select the ambient category and load up the bright auditorium preset. This is very close to what I'm looking for, but I feel like the reverb is too large. To tweak the effects preset, I can simply adjust any of the available parameters, just as if I had added these effects myself directly. I set the space maker reverb size to 4.3 to make it sound smaller and subtler. Now let's see if we can improve the drums. This time I select the Enhanced category and try Large Studio Reverb. The reverb on this preset isn't too obvious, but I like that the EQ and compressor are making the drums louder and brighter. For the bass, I want to see if adding a distortion will help fill out the mid-range. I select the Pushed category and select the Overdrive Sustain preset. I feel that's slightly too distorted. I turn the BL driver's drive down to 0.8 to ease off the dirt just a touch. Let's compare the unprocessed and processed versions of the project. The processed version is louder, brighter, and more driving. Remember, you can fork this project to make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!